the 60s enjoyed a freedom never experienced by their predecessors. Ideas of open defiance, protest, revolution and breaking with the past were order of the day. And food was no exception. Many rejected the standard British meat and two veg and instead embraced vegetarianism. It wasn't a 60s invention, but the decade came to define it. They protest against plastic foods, the slaying of animals to eat, all the pressures and conformist attitudes in a world that condones violence. One Edinburgh restaurant, Henderson's, was there from the very start. Opened in 1962 by Janet Henderson, the restaurant's meat-free cooking revolutionized attitudes to vegetarian food in the city. Janet was a farmer, and the restaurant developed out of her desire to sell healthy veg to her customers. And 50 years on, it's still run by the same family. Janet's daughter Catherine has been working at the restaurant since the very beginning. Well, back in the 60s, my mother opened up um, what they called the farm shop because it was selling the, the goods from the farm. Um, and then, uh, about a year later, um, she decided that um, instead of selling the cabbage for a shilling, that she would chop it up and serve it with, you know, make a coleslaw and sell it for a pound. In the beginning, it was very small. It grew organically. To celebrate their 50th anniversary, Catherine and head chef Barry Baker are going to cook up some favourite dishes from the past and present. Catherine is making a time-honoured recipe for leek and potato soup. In the restaurant, there were always two soups on the menu. There was usually a vegetable soup, and then there was another. And they still do two soups every day, even now. So it's uh, something that's always on the menu. It's simple, but effective. And it's this sort of dish that first got people hooked in the 60s, as it's packed with flavoursome and nutritious veg. You know, my mother was very aware of diet, and I feel that she was ahead of her time in those days. She became interested in vegetarianism when she went to stay with her aunt in Austria in the early 30s. She, at that um, early age, was became very aware about diet, and I think that's what uh, you know she did with us. She was trying to make us aware about diet, and you know, the better the food, the better the fuel you put into your body, the better you are as an individual. Back in the 60s, this was pioneering stuff. Vegetarian food wasn't something people really understood. She never made a big um, thing about it being vegetarian because she thought that might put people off. So she called it Henderson Salad Table. The thing was she wanted to educate people that you could eat a much, you know, a good diet, a healthy diet with just vegetables and fruit. Having prepared the veggies for the soup, Catherine moves on to making fruit salad with sour cream and ginger. It's a restaurant favourite that's been on the menu since the very beginning. This one is a constant and has been a constant for 50 years. And I particularly remember my mother making this one. So it's got very fond memories for me. This is about the, the right consistency and it does, yes, no, it very much reminds me of my mother and so, yeah, no, that's it, that looks good, it looks good to me. <laughs> Vegetarian food has come a long way since the 60s. It's grown from something associated with beardy weirdies to a mainstream food choice today. And the range on offer has transformed too. Head chef Barry has overseen the transition from simple veggie fare to cuisine with an international scope. I've been at Edison since 1984 and um, when I first started here the, the, the produce that we used was very much local produce and the produce that people would have in their own homes and that. And over the years it's kind of gone worldwide. The food that you can get is very much uh, global and that's just increased in what, what we can do on the menu on a day to day basis. But this dish that we're doing has got some of the old and some of the new in it, and some of the things that, that we're doing that we do now we certainly wouldn't have seen in 1960. Barry is cooking up an adventurous dish of baked aubergine with a spicy stuffing, plum sauce, and dauphin wild potatoes. It's uh, well acceptable for, for vegetarians, and also it's a little bit meaty flavour, you know, from the tamari, uh, proteiny from the nuts, and that. So yeah, it's quite a good all-round dish. 
there's a whole host of goodies in there, from onions and carrots to oatmeal, grated nuts and tamari spice. Right, so that's all the components in the dish ready, so it's just a matter of putting it together and plating it up. One of my favourite dishes, and it seems to be one of the most popular dishes for the customers that come in in the evening. With the guests arriving, Catherine puts the finishing touches to her soup. I'm looking forward to this evening. Well, hopefully we've got about six or eight people who used to come in in the 60s. Um, so it'll be fun to see them. And then we also have a, a younger group. So it's a combination of the old and the new. I think it'll be great fun. I'm looking forward to it very much. It'll be a nice uh, celebration. Now there we go, leek and potato soup. The food is going down a treat, and for the original Henderson's generation, it brings back a few memories. Our cuisine in Scotland was quite, was relatively primitive. Our access to a wide range of interesting, fresh vegetables was limited. One came to Henderson's not only for the excellent company, because it seemed a very cosmopolitan place to come in those days, but also for the quality of food and the diversity of food. Yeah, it's much easier to be vegetarian nowadays, of course. In those days it was omelettes or, uh, or pasta, really, that was about it. I can't even remember if we had pizzas then, did we? I suppose we did. Place capture people's imagination because it was a place to come and it was very exciting. Although it was very popular, it was your special secret and it was wonderful. But the younger generations are enjoying it all too. Definitely one of my favourite places. Uh, I come here all the time. It's really good. I mean, I've only been coming here for six years. I've been in Edinburgh, but you constantly see people when you talk to them, and they've been coming here for a really long time. It really is part of the community of Edinburgh. Ginger, sour cream, and pig pudding. It was a winner. Nobody else in Scotland does it, and it is really wonderful. And they're still doing it after 50 years. And I love as much as ever. I mean, I could eat the same again. It's quite special. From pioneering vegetarian food of the 60s with a passion for wholesome nutrition to an Edinburgh landmark with the best that veggie cooking has to offer. Here's to another 50 years. <laughs>